the U Scooters Booster B. Hello everyone, welcome to Brian on Box. In this video, we're gonna look at the U Scooter Booster V electric scooter. This is how the scooter comes when it's delivered. And inside you can see how it's packaged. You get the charger and user guide. There is no assembly required. All you have to do is unpack it and lock the stem into place and adjust the handlebars to your desired height. And just to go over some specs, this comes in six color options, black, gray, white, red, green, and blue. The scooter comes with a 500 watt motor, 36 volt, 10 and a half amp hour battery, and it takes three to four hours to fully charge. A color LCD display, electronic brakes and a rear friction brake, airless tires, a three point folding system, and an adjustable handlebar height. 25 mile per hour top speed with a range of up to 21 miles front lights and rear brake lights, front and rear suspensions, and it weighs in at 24 pounds. A walk through around the scooter you can see the front headlight, front fenders with the motor in the front wheel, the folding mechanism and the charging port in the lower part, a rubberized deck, rear fender and rear friction brake, and rear lights. Looking at the stem area you can see the height adjustment button and the lever. In the handlebar area you have the controls, display, brake, and throttle lever. Turning on the display, you can see that it's colored. Pressing the settings button will toggle the trip and odometer view. And pressing the light button will turn on the front and rear lights. And this has reactive braking as well. This is how the electronic horn sounds like. You also can access the P settings and the user guide will walk you through the process and explain each of the settings that you can modify. Now to unfold the scooter, uh, there, it locks onto the, uh, the back fender here, it just hooks on. So you just wanna press down a little bit to unhook it. Bring the stem up. And then that uh, red latch will lock into place. And there's also a lever here that you wanna move down. And then uh, you can adjust the, uh, the stem accordingly. Now once uh, this time is up, you can uh, unfold the uh, handlebars and they, they fold in by just pressing the button and, and pulling them out and, and you can fold it in like so. And then you can also adjust the handlebars to your uh, desired height. Now I'll test out the scooter. I'll take it out on rough terrain, uphill, downhill, test out the acceleration and then give my thoughts. Now I'm gonna do the uh, rough terrain test. Let's see how it handles this uh, trail. There's a lot of bumps along the way. Um, let's see how it does. Here we go. Okay, so far so good. Absorbing the bumps pretty well here. All right, not bad at all. Okay, now I'm gonna do the uh, uphill test. I'm gonna take it up this trail. Let's see how it does and see if it can maintain the speed. All right, here we go. So, it's a nice gradual acceleration there. We're already up to 14 miles per hour. 17. 18 a lot of power it's uh making it up this hill with no problems 20 21 all right so it uh made it up that uh, hill with no problems uh, plenty of power reached about 21 miles per hour okay let's see how it handles downhill we're probably gonna pick up some speed here so let's see how it does. Here we go. All right. 
We're already up to 24, 27, 28. All right, slowing it down a bit here. So going downhill, we reached about 27, 28 miles per hour. Uh, it, it got going pretty quick and I had to slow it down, but uh, it handled pretty well. Okay, now I'm gonna do the acceleration test. Let's see how fast uh, it can go. Um, there's some inclines along the way, so let's see how it does here. Okay, 20. 22, 25, 28, 28. So it looks like we're topping off at about 28 miles per hour. Now I'll test out the brakes. I'll take it to max speed and once I come into view, I'll hit the brakes and you can use the parking lines as reference. Here are my thoughts on the scooter. I like that there's no assembly required and all you have to do is unwrap it, charge the battery, and you're pretty much on your way. The build and quality is solid, it feels well made and it's extremely light. There was no damage during the shipping process and I saw no imperfections. The ride was pretty smooth, the solid tires weren't bumpy at all and it felt stable. There is some flex with the deck and the suspensions help absorb a lot of the bumps. The deck width is a little bit narrower compared to other scooters but there's decent room for you to position your feet. The stem and handlebars felt stable throughout my testing. It didn't feel loose at all. I like that you can adjust the height as well and fold them. I did find the handlebar length to be a bit on the shorter side for my liking. The 500 watt motor was impressive and don't let the lightweight design fool you with the performance. It was able to conquer the incline during my testing and maintain decent speed. The motor gets going once you press on the throttle and you can be up to top speed in no time. It's quiet as well and I was able to reach 28 miles per hour during my test. The brakes have good stopping power in combination with the rear friction brake. The LCD display is easy to read and intuitive. The lights are also plus and it gives you that extra visibility. Overall this is a lightweight scooter that performs. It's easy to take on the go and transportable. So that is my review of the U-Scooters Booster V electric scooter. If you like my video, go ahead and hit that like button, and if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, this is Brian Unbox. Take care, everyone.